Anna Marie Gracia. Blessings, welcome. Ladish Yorunke. Nice to see you people. Russia White. Welcome. Daniel Atsenga, Franchi Lucera, Ola Yemi Success. Cordella Eme Ikifa. Rufus or Ruf Rufs Bidemi <coughs> Helen She Sandra Linda Do Ade Abu Adeni Shevun Dipolu Kevin Graf <coughs> Marichelle Ruiz Glory Baye <coughs> Nkiru Jimadu, Linda Do, welcome everyone, Anastasia McDonald, welcome, welcome, welcome. Agbeto, we had such a great time yesterday with Galina, Joy Akanomu, that was quite interesting, that was a great session right there. Great, great session. Eric Osadolo, Aldo Setio, No, Vivian Taylor, uh, Olua Fumila Yodina, Aldo, Savannah. Welcome, everyone. Okay. Another day is here. And today we're going to be talking about why women must be treasured. Why women must be treasured. They have to be treasured. Why women must be treasured? Why women must be treasured? All right. Uh, I had spoken to you people about uh, several reasons why we must value our women and why women must be valued and treated uh, fragile and uh, delicately. <clears throat> the Bible says that the women are, uh, are the weaker vessels so that we should treat them with honor. And um, so that is what I want to remind you of, that even there are physical reasons why women must be treated with dignity and with honor. Uh, I spoke about the fact that men are stronger and God makes us stronger so that we'll be able to strengthen the weaker. So anytime you are stronger in any area, that's where you're supposed to minister to other people who are weaker than you. So if men are stronger physically, we're supposed to support the women and give them support at all times. Uh, or another reason why uh, women must be treated with dignity and with honor is because we must protect them from hurt, we must, you know, value them. We must treat them like a treasure, like a fragile treasure, and protect them from hurt. The reason for that is because they feel pain more than we feel them, especially psychological pain and especially emotional pain. So, women have women's uh, emotions have to be protected. We 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 have to make sure that we prevent them from feeling uh, hurt and from feeling pain. And uh, from you know from being offended and being hurt, and especially uh, when it comes to hurting their feelings, when it comes to hurting, uh, hurting them psychologically, uh, we must be the guard at the emotions and feelings of our ladies. And um, so, because they have sent, they are more sensitive, fourteen times more sensitive, about fourteen times more than the men. Can you imagine it? being more sensitive 14 times so that means that every pain they feel it like 14 times more than the man feel it and the reason for that is because of the typhoid gland uh thyroid gland gland that uh, that that is responsible for their hormones and because of the the multiple 
No, because they are, the hormones production in the woman is more intense and much more, uh, you know, men, much more bigger uh, uh, presence of hormones and need for hormones in the woman than the than the men. So those hormones cause the body to be more sensitive and to, you know, to feel to be not, you know, so women are not for punishment. So for, for people who are saying that women just want to marry rich people, I think they are, it is right. I think only foolish women want to marry a poor man. I think any normal woman that has brain in her head should think about marrying a man that will be able to provide for her. Any woman that is having a brain in place should not think about marrying somebody and thinking, hoping that the person will be able to, you know, somehow, some, by miracle or by angels, they'll be eaten. <laughs> or they will, <laughs> God will bring house from heaven to them to live in. It is not something conducive for the woman. The woman environment, I mean, the woman nature is to be protected, is to be cared for. And women need stability. How can you give stability to a woman if you don't even have a job? How can you give some stability to a woman if you don't have income? Definitely, uh, it is only wise of the woman to want to open her eyes and marry a man that is able to provide everything for her. So, so those talk people talk, say, and those you no know, bullying from the side of men that uh, that uh, women are selfish when they want to uh, marry only successful people. You know, I think they are not selfish. I think they are they, they are wise. I think they are wise. I personally think I would I would I personally would advise all women and all young girls to open their eyes very well before they agree to marry anybody. It is your life. Don't go and surrender your life. Don't go and surrender your sovereignty. Don't go and surrender your freedom. Don't go and surrender your you know your 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 virginity, your you know your beauty, your youth your life to somebody that will mess you up. I mean, the reason is not because of money. We don't, we, you, women don't get married for money, but money, it, without money, it's impossible to marry as well because money and the, you know, the, the financial status of the man it goes a long way to prove to, to the woman and to everybody else if he's capable of anything at all. I mean, if you are not capable of providing for yourself, if you are not capable of anything in life, how can you, why, what, what even gives you the confidence to go and be talking to a girl that you want to marry her? What kind of, what kind of conscience do you have? If you cannot provide for yourself, you should stay in your home and, and go and go to job and get yourself something to do. If you, if you know that you are not going to be able to provide for her, why should you deceive her? Why should you bring her into that kind of situation? Whereby she knows she 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 knows that you are not you I mean you know it is it is absolutely illogical to be thinking to be expecting a girl to marry you with nothing and then we are going to struggle together. Let us struggle on our own and you struggle on your own and <laughs> prove to us what you can do in life. Prove to us because money and success uh, is the proof that you are capable of anything in the first place. Tell us that you are capable of something. If that, if you, if 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 any woman should just be marrying any man, then <laughs> you know it is it is absolutely act of irresponsibility, and there is no woman that should marry an irresponsible man. To marry an irresponsible man is to make your life terrible. To marry an irresponsible man is to make your life absolutely outrageous. And you say, oh, but it's responsible. Let him prove it. Let him prove that it's responsible. What, where are the statistics? Where are the proofs that it's responsible? What makes him responsible? Where are the arguments? What has he done with his life? What has he been able to come up with? What are the results he has been able to, to, to get in his life? If he doesn't have any proof, if he has not been able to prove it that he's responsible for himself, he's responsible for his family, he's responsible for his environment, why should he go and destroy the life of another person? And then you are going to expect that other woman to give birth to children. Uh, and then what will be the children? What would the children be eating? They will be at the mercy of relatives? Or where would they live? So all those talk that women shouldn't just be looking at what, you know, what the man has, you know, is rubbish. It's not utter nonsense. She must definitely look at what other woman, what the man has. 
If she's not going to look at what the man has, it means she doesn't have brain. It means she's not thinking about her future. It means she's not thinking about herself. It means she doesn't love herself. She doesn't love him. She doesn't love herself. She doesn't love anybody. It means she is, she, she is short-sighted. So, <laughs> and the reason for that is because every pain the woman will go through, everything that, every complication, every instability, the woman will be feeling it on herself. Because, I, like I said, her feelings, she is more sensitive 14 times. And every little disorganization, every little instability, it will be paining her heart. Every little lack, it will be paining her. It will be hurting her emotionally, psychologically, physically. Every lack of food, every lack of you know, clothes, every lack of anything will just be spoiling her and destroying her life. Every inability to cater for her children or to be able to do, you know, have the basic things that she needs in life will be just killing her. <clears throat> so in order for her not to be... What makes most women begin to work? Why is it that most women, just, you know, are the ones that are the breadwinners? Why? Because they have married, they have entered into the marriage, and now there's nowhere to run to anymore. And now they have to be, 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 be the ones who are pregnant, they have to be the ones who are, who are feeding the baby, they have to be the ones who are carrying the baby pregnancy, they have to be the ones who are taking care of the children, and then they still have to be going to work. And then we are saying that women are prostitutes. Why wouldn't they prostitute when there is no other place for them to run to? You know, so we men are the ones who push them into that kind of situation. But what I'm telling women is that if you have your head in your brain, if you have your brain in your head, if you have your head on your shoulder, it's better for you to prevent that kind of catastrophe happening to you. How many women are so desperate? How many women today are the ones providing for their families? How many women today are the ones who have to send the children to school, who have to provide for the food, who have to provide for everything, who have to work from morning to night? Why? Because the men are irresponsible. It's because the women want to say, okay, I married him without anything. And now I became, we will become something together. If he didn't become anything before you met him, most likely he will never become anything. So, so what I'm telling you is that if, if you don't want to put your life in such a mess whereby you have to be the father and the mother and the grandmother and the grandfather and everything in one, you know, open your eyes before you say yes. Open your eyes properly, oh. <laughs> and don't be, let public opinion create this or this deception for you that oh you shouldn't look at what he has now oh you should be a, a humble or modest woman and oh God will provide God will provide let him why what is disturbing that God from providing now if that God is able to provide sometime in future let him do it now I will wait it's better for you to just have the patience to have the patience rather than to go and sell yourself into slavery uh, so. Um, I'm telling you, that ladies, it's, you know, because of the sensitive nature of the woman. Let me give you some other statistics that will prove to you that the woman needs to open her eyes before she goes into any relationship. Because, number two, num you know, I told you, she's more sensitive 14 times. So, for that, she doesn't need to go into a, a relationship that is problematic. It will only worsen her situation. Number two, the heart of the woman is smaller. So if with your, that, that your little heart and the man with the bigger heart is lying on, in bed or he's just going about with his friends and you with the, your small heart is the one that's going to be carrying the burden of the big man, of the man and the woman and the children and everybody, think woman, think woman before you, you, you put your head into such a yoke. It's better for you to just be alone on your own, provide for your own needs and not to have any any burden of a, a man or burden of providing for the man and for children than to go into a relationship where you have to do everything. I already told you that the size of the of the woman's heart of woman's heart is um, is hundred to two hundred millimeter smaller. The size of the woman's heart is. 100 to 200 millimeters smaller than the heart, the, the heart of the man. So the woman is not the one that's supposed to be, you know, bold and be sh proving that she is champion. She is, she is a good woman. She is a good wife. She's, she's going to be carrying all the burden. It's not your place. Let him carry it. If he's not going to carry it, don't let him go and approach a woman. And then also the weight, the the the. Yeah, the weight of the heart also, the size, the size and the weight, 
is, is small. The weight also is smaller than the, the weight of the of the man's uh, um, the, of the man's heart. You know, the heart of the is of the man is heavier by fifty gram. So the heart of the man is heavier by fifty gram. And what is that saying? That means that you know every pressure is felt by the woman. The woman feels every kind of pressure that comes over her. So we don't need to overwhelm her with unnecessary responsibility that are not our responsibility, that are the responsibility of the man. So look, can you imagine her carrying both the weight of herself and the weight of the woman, of the man upon her shoulder? Another reason which I've already mentioned before is that the because of the smallness in the heart of the woman, that uh, her heart beats as her heart has to work faster and more intensely than the heart of the woman and the man. That is why she's always panicky, and afraid, susceptible to fear and all that because her heartbeat is 90, 90 beats in a, in a minute while uh, the heartbeat of the man is only 72 the heartbeat in, in a minute which makes him to be more peaceful and to, to be much more uh, you know, relax and to be much more in control than the woman who cannot be in control because she, uh, she has to, you know, her heart has to work faster most of the time and more intensively. So, and then you are telling me that she should just go in there and find out what will happen? That is being heartless. That is being totally heartless to tell her just because you don't, and that is because we don't know. So, most of us just treat the woman as if we are the same. You know, she's a woman, she's a, I'm a man, you know, she can work, I can work, all of us, we are the same. We are not the same. That's why I'm giving you all the statistics that, you know, she must be protected. She must be provided for. And she's not the one to be, now be turned everything around and be the one doing all the work. That is callous. That is being wicked. Another reason why the woman must be protected for, which I mentioned the last time, is because of the volume of the blood in, the, in, 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 in man's uh, uh, organism. Can you imagine the men have more blood in them? We have you have you have one liter, one point two liter uh, of of uh, blood in us more than in in the women. So we have more energy, more life in us, the men than the than the women. So one 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 point two liters uh, uh, women you no know, have less blood in them, and and which is. Uh, uh, One, one of the reasons for that is because of the way we have been, you know, because of the, you know, the, the, uh, erythrocyte, because of the erythrocyte in the blood of man, uh, the red blood, that's the erythrocyte, the red blood and the hemoglobin, uh, red blood cell in the man is richer. The red blood cell in the man is richer than in the, in the woman. And that, because of the thanks to the red blood uh, that is in uh, that is richer in the man in the light of the womb in the, of the man, so thanks to that, you know, the uh, the quality, I mean, the quantity of blood is is is, is much more, and and also uh, because the, of the smaller amount of uh, of what do you call it, because of the small because of the smaller amount of heart. In the in of the woman, and because of the uh, smaller amount of uh, blood uh, for the for the for for what do you call oxygen to come into the body of the woman, she needs to use seven liters of blood for one liter of oxygen. Seven liters of blood to carry one liter of oxygen, but men only six liters of blood for one liter of oxygen. So she needs to, her body needs to work more intensely, and and than the than the uh, body of the of the of the man, and that's why we are given all that potential because nature, God created us that way so that we will take more responsibility, we will do the hard work. But the men, some men want to uh, want to avoid it, and wants to, uh, yeah, they want to escape and 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 you know and be deceptive. That shouldn't happen. And all those things people are talking about, feminism, feminism, this, equality, equality. It, it could be equality in socially, but not in burden, not economically, not in, you know, in the sense that uh, uh, in the weight and the burden that we carry. And, and, and so that is why I'm saying that the women must open their eyes and they must use their brain before they go into any relationship. 
So because of the smaller uh, amount of blood in the system of the man, uh, uh, I mean the woman, uh, because of the smaller amount of blood in women, they could become sick. They are more susceptible to sickness and disease and, you know, uh, infections and things like that. That's why women must be taken care of. And that's why they could be much more, it's easier for them to be much more sick uh, than, you know, if, than the men. Their bodies are more open to sickness. I also spoke about, you know, the size of the lungs. The lungs of the, can you believe it? When the children are smaller, you know, like a boy, a seven-year-old boy, five-year-old boy, or five-year-old girl, seven-year-old girl, when they are smaller, when they are school, still small, you don't see the much more difference in the, in the size of the lungs. But the more we grow, the more the boy and the girl grow, uh, then you begin to see the difference in the size of the lungs. Now, when uh, adult, for the adult men and for the adult women, is the lung, the size of the lung is 30% smaller for the women. 30% smaller. The man's lung is 30% bigger than the lung of the girl. And you want her to carry the same weight and the same body? Where is our, where is our, our heart? Where is our, our conscience? Where, you know, that's why we are so big. That's why it's because of the lungs. The lungs of the men are 30% bigger. And you know what that means? That means that it's easier for us to breathe than the women. You know what that means? That means that the men breathe deeper. We have deeper breath of oxygen. We have bigger intake of oxygen than the women. We can bring, you know, breathe, breathe, breathe uh, deeper, uh, faster, and all that. So, so I'm not in favor of saying that, you know, women should just open uh, close her eyes and go into any relationship and say, okay, uh, God will provide. Let God provide now. I'm not in favor of the, you know, people saying uh, the woman must not look at the man. Uh, he doesn't have anything. Oh, okay, no problem. Uh, somehow, somehow. Not somehow, somehow. Prove it now. Bring the result out right now. Somehow, somehow, we have seen too many women suffering. Go to Africa. All the pain and all the suffering is in the show, on the shoulder of the woman. They are the ones going to the farm. They are the ones going to the market. They are the ones doing everything. Because, just because they have to go to marriage, by, 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 you, know, you know, because they think they must marry by force. It's not by force you have to marry her. Because you have to know that marriage is not the most important thing you have to come to, come to the world to do. The most important thing you come to the world to do is to fulfill the purpose of God for your life. Is to find out the calling of God upon your life. You are created for something, no, other than just marriage. You have to find out what that something is. You have to find out the calling of God for your life. You've got to find out what you are called to do, what you are created to do. When you are still in your mother's womb, everybody has a calling, and you have a calling too. Discover that calling. Discover that your the, the calling of God for, uh, uh, for your life, and face it. That is your first priority, not marriage, not husband and wife or children. How can you be giving back to children when you have not given back to your own self? How can you be giving life to other children when you have not given life to your own self? When you don't know how to live, what will you teach those other children? I mean, that is your absolute responsibility, both from the side of the man and from the side of the woman. So, so, so uh, uh, a woman that is not having or not seeing a responsible man, the thing she's supposed to do is to face a business, to face a calling, face your calling. You know, discover your calling and be, you know, the Bible says that the, uh, the, the, those who are not married should care for the things of God. And those who are married, they have, they have problems because now they cannot just be caring for the things of God. They have to be caring for the things of, of their husbands and their family. But, 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 but uh, uh, when we... When we, when we are single, we care for the things of God. So if you don't have a husband, thank God for it. Look at Valent, uh, Galena yesterday. If you didn't see the program of yesterday, you must see. Galena, she's a single lady, and she came to the church, and see what kind of product she's producing. She's going to be on television soon, in Ukraine and everywhere. She's going to be very famous because of the things she has designed. You know, de no, make sure that you maximize your life. Don't just sit down there waiting for a man to come. 
and then you just jump into the neck of anyone that comes. Either is responsible or is irresponsible. Don't just sit down there thinking that your life goal and your life assignment is just, just to find a husband. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really follow. That husband that you are going to f find might be the end of your life, as, as a matter of fact. That your marriage that you are running into might be the end of uh, enjoyment and pleasure for you. That is when all your problems will begin. Because marriage, even a good marriage, even a good husband, eh, good marriage that thinks of everything, will still complicate your life at least 10 times more. Any marriage complicates life a minimum of 10 times more. But when you marry a, an irresponsible man, when you marry a lazy man, or a man that doesn't have head, then that complication becomes 100 times more, even without children. You are in trouble. And when you begin to give children, when you give birth to children uh, immediately, and the man is still irresponsible, it means you, are, you, just, you just hate yourself. Another reason why the man that must take care of women, uh, of the woman and the, the, the men who must be the ones doing the hard work is because of the energy volume in, the, in man and woman. The energy volume uh, you know, in, the, in, the, in, in the man is much bigger than in the woman. <clears throat> and so men can do much work, much uh, hard work, more physical work, even though women are more patient and... Uh, uh, they could have more long suffering, stamina, but the hard work is, you know, is easier for the men. I also spoke the other day, yesterday actually, I spoke about the fact that men should stop telling the women that they are too fat. And I gave you the statistics that the reason for that is because God created the man, I mean the woman, to have more fat. God provided for that because she has to carry the baby, because she has to be responsible for the child. And because all the, <clears throat> when a woman is pregnant, you know, she's moving around for the, womb, uh, for the, uh, for the baby, to, for the fruit in her womb to be protected, she needs some, you know, softer landing, love soft landing. And because of that, she's surrounded, you know, she has uh, uh, fat in, 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 uh, in strategic places all over her body. And those fat are necessary to give us succor and protection protection of the seed she's carrying and so that during the nine months of pregnancy you know she's protected even if she falls or anything happens to her you know the hips are supposed to have more fat the the the, the stomach supposed to have more fat the backside those are all calculated by god not just objects of beauty but they are ob objects of of uh you know of protection so the womb, you know, let, let me tell you, the percentage of fat in the, in the, in the man is only 12% of fat we, a, a man has in his body. But for the woman, they have 26% of fat, 26% of fat mass, you know, your fat is what they have in the body, 26%. 26% of fat. And men is only 12% fat in the body when you talk about the the general weight of of the men and women so the weight if you talk take all the body now the fat if you weigh all the fat in the body of the man it's only 12 percent and if you weigh the, the weight of the of the woman will be 26 percent two times more than two times uh you know this this the amount of fat in the woman than in the man and that is not by accident that is you know to 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 uh, secure and protect her, uh, you know, and even the breast. You men like the breast and all that, and they're not just for beauty, you know. They are because the woman has to be a woman, and she has to be a mother. And then we are the ones complaining and saying they have to be, you know, ninety or whatever they can say, sixty, ninety, sixty, or something like that. You know, uh, you know, some people are giving some size that women have to be small. But those are the sizes of teenagers, young girls who are not going to be married yet. Everybody wants to be like the models. But the models are mainly small, 14 years, 16 years, 17 year old girls who are not ready to be models. But when you're already a woman, you, or your body has the different demands. The body of the woman has different demands. So let's stop pushing all these women up and down, go to the gym, go and do this, go and run, go and do that. You know, if you are sensitive as a man, we should be more considerate. 
Of course, I understand that, you know, a woman, because of that, shouldn't use that as an excuse to, to become, to be weighing 200 kilograms. But still, you know, we should be much more considerate. So, next thing that I want to talk about today. So, you, what I've done so far is just to review what I'd gone through the past two days. I just quickly ran through them. Now, let me talk about what I've not spoken about. Why women must be treasured. One of, the reasons, I mean, one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is the amount of water in the blood of the man and the amount of water in the blood of the woman. Now, like I said, on one hand, the woman has more concentration of fat in her because of her, the special duty, uh, function that she's supposed to produce and carry out. And, but the man, on the other hand, has more presence of water in his body than the woman. So the women have less water in their system than the men. Why the, uh, the men have more water and the women have more, more fat. Uh, so for, to, for you to be con comparing yourself to the, to, the, to the woman and say, oh, I have, I have muscles and you have fat, it's not fair. It's just because we are different because we are supposed to be create well, to, to to perform different functions. The reason, uh, the reason why uh, the women have less fat, I mean less water, is because you know, when you talk about fat, fat doesn't have water in it in itself almost. Fat and water don't go together, so it's either fat or it's water. So because women have more fat it automatically means that the water level will be lower because you have more fat in the body. The water cannot be in the same place where there is fat. And the men is the opposite. They have less fat. Instead of fat, they have water. And why do they need the water? They need the water to be able to walk uh, more. So uh, uh, at the end of the day, the body of the woman consists of 50-60% of water why the body of the man consists of 60 to 70 percent of water so your body is either 60 or 70 percent of water for the men between 60 and 70 but for the woman it's between 50 and, and 60 percent of water so it is uh it is beneficial for both men and women to be drinking water we know that because that is what our body is made up of but especially for the women it's recommended that they drink at least up to two liters of water a day because their body will need it anyway because they don't naturally have enough water in them as the man has. So, but thanks to the fact that the men have uh, more water and less fat, it gives back to another advantage for the men. That gives back, to, that gives, leads to the body of the man being easier, I mean, you know, in forming muscles. So it, the, the, instead of fat, the, it gives birth. To, it, it gives room for muscle formation. It, it gives room for muscle for formation. Uh, so the muscles and the yeah uh, in the man is is bigger. That's why men are always more muscular, and because they have to do the physical work, and and that is also because they have to do the the physical work. Um, And also another reason why the muscles are more in the in the men is because you remember I spoke to you, to you about the red blood uh, cell, red red blood cell, the uh, erythrocyte erythrocyte uh, in the in the in the in the man, and and hemoglobin. All those uh, red blood cell, hemoglobin, and erythrocyte they are helpful for the man to they work for the. For, for, the, for the building of the muscles. The activity of the blood helps build up the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the muscles of the man. And since they have more of uh, erythrocytes and hemoglobin, uh, it's, it's, it's working for the, for the, more for the, for the body of the man. So it works to help develop the muscles and to be able to um, maximize the body of the man, to be able to do more work. And more. By the way, I'm not seeing anything. Is anybody writing anything? 
everything is silent. Is it my computer? Should, do I need to? Uh, do I need to check it? Are you? Is anybody writing anything? Because I'm not. The last person I saw was Daniel Oshoma. Let me know if you are writing anything. If it is me that is not uh, seeing it here, or you are not writing anything. So on the other hand, if on one hand uh, the uh, the body of the woman of the man is producing more, uh, if I say the body of the man is producing more muscles because of the blood, uh, 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 so, but on the other hand, the. Um, the, the, because of the of the of the fat in the body of the woman, uh, the estro, estrogen estrogen is being reduced in the in the, in her the, because uh, the the fat compresses the estrogen in the woman in the in the in the in the blood of the woman so. Uh, So it's not giving rise to to the development of the muscles uh, in the in the woman. Let me see. I can this thing. I can see what they're writing. Let me see. Let me see if I'm good. If it's, if something will come up now, or oh, they are not writing anything. Or no. is it my computer that's not showing it? Have we popularized the shorter episode? Not the real version. Okay, the analysis net. Let me try to see. I'm trying to fix my computer here. I hope. I hope it works. So why, why am I talking about these muscles and I can't see their comments? Uh, what's the babies? It's a comment. Let me see. Let me take somebody else. Uh. Let me see a video. Let me see a comment. Anyway, so if the muscles of the men are stronger, if the men's muscles are bigger and stronger, that should tell us something. Uh, that should tell us something, that God is trying to make a point. God is trying to tell the, the men, trying to make a point that the men I should take responsibility for the physical work, for the weight of the of, of the work that needs to be done in the family and at home in the society, and that we shouldn't, you know, we shouldn't subjugate our work and our duties to the women, and that we should try to pity the women a little bit, and we shouldn't, you know, you know, fill them up with too much luggage and too much burden and too much work. Uh, Tyus Steven is saying, what happens when a woman doesn't want to help at all? Let me tell you what. Helping what? Helping making money? The work that the woman is doing at home is more than the one the man is doing at work. Of. So don't tell me that she doesn't want to help. If you Are you helping also at home? You as a man, how much work do you do at home? If you want the woman to work, uh, to go and work and make money to help with the family, then you as the man also, you must divide the work in the house 50-50. So if you want the wife, your, your wife to go and work, okay, she will go and work and begin to and do, give support part of the money. If she is giving 50% of the money from her salary, then she has to give you 50% of the work in the home to do. You have to wash the clothes or the kitchen plate or the, you know, the floor or, you know, the bed. And you have to do 50% of the work at home too. 
And if she's giving 30% of the money, then you have to do 30% of the work at home also. Because the times have changed. Before, women were doing all the work at home because the men were just at work. And the women were not working, so they were focused at home. But if she has to go to work, she comes back home tired too. Just like you come back home tired, that's how she comes back home tired also. So if you want, you know, you want your wife to be work, or helping you at, at work, to go and be making money, then you too begin to do some work. You too have to begin to do some work. Okay, B. David says, now I got the case closed. <laughs> No more arguments. Case closed. Uh -huh. And women, men don't want to do a lot of work at all. They don't want to help at all. But they want the women to help, to help them. You see, it's not fair. <laughs> Tayo is saying, Pastor, it's very clear now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she will say, yes, that is division of labor, pain and gain. And in Loju or Olodubari said, even have to do 70% because they cannot share 50-50 because they are stronger. <laughs> uh, yes, I agree. Women are clapping, thank God. Uh, uh, all, the, all the men have disappeared from my platform. In for the past two days, all men disappeared from my platform. <laughs> they put the platform off. Only Daniel and Tayo are left. <laughs> but the truth must be told. The truth must be told. <laughs> Julia Fortune said, Trying to look for find your comments here. They are not showing. And let me see if somebody okay, someone is trying to give me. Not a podcast, but yeah. okay. Sorry, please. So anyway, you got the point I'm trying to say. Why I'm looking for the comments, let me make another point. And this is for the women to take notes. Men eat more. And men have to eat more. And, and there is a reason for that, why men have to eat more. Because the, the, men have, the women have more fat in them, so they could control that a little bit more. But the, the, but the men, they have more water. So and they and they have more muscles. So because of that, they, they, the body demands more feeding of the body, and that is why, uh, in the average, a, a normal man must eat seven hundred calories, seven hundred calories more uh, of food more than the woman. So if the woman is eating five hundred or three hundred or so, the man can be eating one thousand calories. <laughs> And because this 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 is also uh, affecting their muscle levels, it's affecting their their uh, vol their energy volume. Food is very important for the man. And people used to say uh, the road to the heart of the, the path to the heart of the man is through food and and sex. It's true. Those are the two basic needs of the man: uh, hunger and sex. But you know, and there is a reason for that because that is how they are built. And more so, the food that man eats uh, affects the temperature of the body. So, because of the man is eating more, and the temperature of the body for the man uh, is always higher. It's always higher. Uh, God expects the man to be spending more energy to work, more energy to do what he needs to do to take care 
of his family. So God is not expecting the man to just lie down on the bed and be watching television. <laughs> That's why he has to eat more food so that he could do more work. Uh, but on the other hand, let's talk about women now. On the other hand, women need more sleep. Women need more sleep than the men. Uh, and there is a reason for that as well. Uh, women get, because anything, like, I don't know if you still, if you all still remember uh, the photograph I used to show you before, that in the woman, everything is connected to each other. Uh, anything that is happening in her life is affecting her on all levels. It's affecting her on the level of the body, on the spirit, and the soul. And I'm, So you see the picture of the woman here and the man here. So the woman, anything that happens to her body affects her soul, it affects her emotions, it affects her feelings, it affects our mind it affects everything our heart and but for the man he can things could be going on in his body and his emotion is not even being affected or things are going on in his heart his mind is not affected or in his mind and his heart is not affected but for the woman everything is uh, intertwined so the woman needs more rest at least every woman needs to sleep two more hours than the man she needs so if a man needs an average of six seven hours of sleep in a day a woman must have uh eight nine hours of sleep a day and and she, so it is we should not be blaming our wife for sleeping too much or that she wants to sleep she our body needs to recoup our body needs to recoup and because everything she is on a, in on emotions for her everything is all over her everything is uh, affecting her uh, our emotions, everything affects our feelings, everything is affecting our behavior, everything is affecting, you know, it's reflecting on her. Everything that is happening in the family, in the home, is reflecting on her. And she's, she's struggling with that. Let me see some of the comments. Give me your computer. Oh, where is that? Pakaji. Sneeze, sneeze, sneeze. Господи Боже. У тебя есть лет от проще? Что? Не, все это на все дивизии. Не, не, быстрее же двигайся. Это новая только подходит. Да, только новая. Мне не нужно только новая. Мне нужно все это сюда. Легче же передвигайся сюда. Лучше мышки. Nadi Shurunke says, I still iron my wife clothes. But those, is that right? yeah. okay. I still iron my Tibudesh do we get Pakaya Buddhist? I still iron my wife clothes. Hmm? Ushla. I'm gonna text it, I'm gonna write it down. You just have to go and go and go and go and go. Pastor Sunday, thank you for this point. Some men think women are too lazy. I'm sorry, I can't see all the the, the comments here. Not. Okay. So, because we're not new, we're not going to say the dinner. Sit that text there. Ah, she will say this. This is this is healing. The truth is bitter, but people need to step away from themselves and analyze this. Uh, principles it will definitely ease us from the cultural bondage by elevating our spiritual uh, life 
Uh, more system, that's awesome, sir. Pastor, honestly, the church needs to teach the men, especially what you say about pastors who knew the congregation cannot give a whole support to their family life, yet they condemn during other work uh, along the clergy profession. Yeah, they have to. Why? I think uh, everybody has to work. And especially the pastor. I, I think that a pastor that has less than 2,000 people in his church should go and work. A gift aim on saying, to be frank and sincere, women always busy. Uh, they can even stay without work. Either they're working with their hands or calculating how to always put their house in order. Yes, that's so true. Uh, Elizabeth said, no wonder I don't like to be disturbed when I'm sleeping. Nkem DK, eat more and work more harder to provide for the family. Yes. Uh, Daniel is saying, let us not shift every responsibility to the church. We have the word of God as mirror for our, to manage our homes. Right. But I think all of us need to take this word and go and uh, spread the word. We all need to spread the word because most people don't know these things. Uh, Monica said, Pastor Sunday, a man must eat 2,000 calories per day and women 1,200 calories per day. Yeah, that's what I mean. I say that the men must eat 700 more than the woman. That's what, that's the same thing. You are saying 800 more. According to your own calculation, it has to be 800 more. But I am saying the men must eat 700 more, 700 calories more than the woman. So it's still the same thing. I, I didn't give how much must, you are giving how much must eat in a day. So the woman, the woman eats 1,200, 1,300 in a day, and the man eats 2,000 in a day. Uh, Laura says, women need more sleep. That, yeah, I know. Okay, we said that. Okay. Easy, okay, I, uh, okay. Easy, okay, I, uh, is answering Shinwei. Yes, I remember you said so. So these men are always hungry for one thing or the other. <laughs> no, they are not. They are only hungry for two things. Either they are hungry for, the, for sex or they are hungry for stomach. Uh, Bide me is saying women need more rest than the men. Wow. Then my wife will enjoy. But unfortunately, Vivian is saying that we women are the first one to go. We are the first one to stand out of bed and the last one to go to bed most of, in most families. Uh, Nkem, DK. Welcome back, Nkem. DK, that's a hard part for mothers when all the children and everyone need uh, attention. How can she sleep? Well, the, the father has to help, or somebody has to help her and give them more condition. Obina said, we men are listening, we are learning. <laughs> So that means that men should not be oversleeping. That is what Laura is saying. Uh, or Monica said, but when you try to sleep more, you attack being lazy as a woman by some men. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Cordelia Amy said, Pastor, in most cases, the woman sleep less because she has to stay awake to tidy up why others have to go to sleep and wake earlier to plan the day for the everyone well because people don't know we have to change that we've got to correct that and make sure that uh, we give our women more opportunity to sleep okay i uh Ine said it's hard wow it's hard work already just like we wonderfully and fearfully made gorgeously made so it's our complexity i beg we really are meant to rest at more. Nkem say, my dear 
Queen Lizzie, you can say that again, sleep around 3 hours, 3 a.m. Friday night, and by 6.30 a.m., my daughter is up and wants to play. Yeah, that is horrible. If a woman is sleeping only three hours, she's killing herself. Fumi is saying that uh, this topic is very important, important for all men to know. In fact, all the topic Pastor Sunday have been teaching for the past two, three months on this platform. Men have turned women into only way of making money in different ways. And women too has turned themselves into breadwinners. Uh, that's Fumilayo uh, Agape saying that. Uh, uh, NS Ebong says, no wonder my wife sleeps more. She goes to bed earlier than I and wakes up later than I. That is, I go to bed two, three, two or three hours after she might have gone to bed and I will still wake up before her. That is much normal than the, other, the opposite, the other way around. Christine is saying, I agree with you, Pastor, that women need more sleep. As for my own experience, if I don't sleep well, no mood for the whole day. Feeling stressed up. Right. Uh, Sefulu Kayo says, women are hero to men. How can we live without them? They are, they are closer to the heart. Thank you, Pastor. Davida said the pastors not working has created a lot of problems. They could work flexibly or start a business which will give them more flexibility. Yeah, I think the men, everybody had to work, including the pastors. Uh, Daniel is saying we have allowed technology and society to rob us from thinking right. When we grew up in Africa, we had no calculator, computer, and luxury they have today. We were trained by our grandmothers and precious mothers. We end up being responsible and happy than this new generation. Yep. Uh, Nkem DK says, sleep is very necessary and important to stay healthy, younger and beautiful. Um, Nkiru say, pastors, no matter the number of your congregation, set up a business or something. Pastors without any stream of income are tempted to be milking their members. That's so true. Elizabeth says, pastor, since I met you, I've been sleeping four hours only, trying to convert. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, try to get more sleep, my dear. Ola Mide, yeah, Adelaide says, some men are doing exactly the opposite. May the Lord help us. Uh, Well, I hope that uh, this teaching has been a blessing to some of you. Uh, Fidel is saying, thank you, Pastor, for your teaching. But what would you say in a situation where a mother will go to bed around 12 p.m. and wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning, prepare food for the family, and make sure the children will go to school? I've already said what I needed to say about that, that women need to be given more sleep. And they have to be relieved by their family members and their husbands. Gift Amon says, it's the women themselves who are always working and outworking themselves. So they should give, make things easier for themselves. Davida said, I've been converting all night. I just woke up. Yes, <laughs> you need that sleep. You need the sleep. Monique, Pastor Sunday, thanks so much for this teaching. We now know 
that if we sleep, it's not that we are lazy. We are just women. Yep. Daniel said, we have a generation of irresponsible men who think manna must fall from heaven. They want to reap from where they did not sow. They are shy to walk. The Bible said, whatever your hands find to do, to do it well. Do it and God will bless it. Neke Ekero Okoro, I now understand why I get tired and moody in the morning due to lack of sleep. Thank you, Pastor, for this insight. Oluwa Formula Yodina, thank you for the enlightenment and you have made me more wise, more anointing in Jesus' name. Thank you. Mkiro Jimadu is talking about her books. So if you have not gotten it, go for it. Well, I hope you were able to learn something today and how to relate to... If you have not shared the link, let's go ahead and share this link. It might be a blessing to some people. So please go ahead and look under the video. you see the share, uh, share button. Let's go ahead and share the, uh, the link to this program. And uh, let's write some things, some comments or some uh, uh, remarks and let people know that, um, yeah, we should need to change our world by changing the, our attitude to women and to the men as well. Uh, Moses Tokwai said, what an insight indeed. God bless you, sir. Augustus said, Pastor, thank you so much for this teaching. It is reforming, it is reforming us. Neki says, my husband has been a model of a good husband and your message has made him even more better. I'm blessed. Thank you, Pastor. Davida said, you just need to learn to master your money. Uh, okay, we're talking about Daniel. He said, Ngoya said, thanks, Pastor. It was a pleasure listening to you again. More annoyed, more blessings. Nena said, thank you, my mentor, for your wisdom. Love you always. Thank you. Okay, one... Uh, Enjoy your Sunday. She's greeting us. Elizabeth, thank you so much. Pastor, love you a lot. Fidel, you are right, Pastor. Sleep energizes the body. If you have, are having a headache, if you sleep, you wake up without the headache. Ushe Shuku, this series is timely for me, and it has been a huge blessing for me. Bidemi, thank you, sir. Love you all for the family. Saying bye. Julia saying Thank you, Pastor Adelaja. Princess Gilda, my greatest teacher. Good teaching, sir. I've missed you. Yeah, we have missed you too. She, Sandra, say thank you so much, Dr. Adelaja. You are the best teacher. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Beat them, he said, only a foolish woman will want to marry a poor man, right? Elizabeth is saying, Pastor, woman's brain is locked because of love, <laughs> blind. So they marry foolish men. <laughs> Kevin say, wow, now if I want to get my daughter to have this same mindset, yeah, we must give this teaching to our daughters and our sons to make them to, to think right. Everybody needs to have these teachings. Bidem is a let the man prove he's responsible. Let him show his responsibility by his results. Exactly.
she, Sandra, says it is so bad that sometimes women give birth, especially in Africa, and then share the children among relatives because they cannot... <laughs> They cannot afford to take care of the children, so they have to distribute them among family members to help them take care of them. <laughs> that is crazy. Elizabeth says, wow, in Nigeria, some mothers say a man is a man. Just marry and <laughs> struggle together. <laughs> that is what leads to sharing children later on, distributing children. <laughs> they even quote the scripture that he who finds wife found a good thing. But the one with the woman must allow herself to be found by the right one, not by the wrong one. <laughs> Elizabeth said, ladies, please listen to pastor. Prevention is better than cure. Don't go and mortgage your life to pain and abuse. Yeah, that's what happens most of the time. Amarasha says, thank you, Pastor Dr. Sunday, for saying it the way it should be. This is the way it should be. Kevin Graff says, yeah, you are right. Uh, the younger generation are the ones having this problem. I'm 61, and my generation did not have this problem. But my daughter is. I can't get them to work. Julia, I love you much, Pastor Sunday. Teach it, though bitter to men's ears, but the truth must always be spoken, and it will be prevail. Gift blessings say, woman, please use your head. Don't fall in love with your head. Let your heart fall in love, not your head. Use your head. <laughs> Tayo is saying, where then is the role of the woman in marriage? <laughs> I go and listen to all my teachings before. Uh, the role of the woman in marriage is is <laughs> is awesome. It's the most. Uh, they have <laughs> they have more work to do in marriage than the men. To what degree should a woman be involved with the responsibility of the marriage? <laughs> uh, go and listen to all the things I've thought about that place. Goya Sharis, when God created Adam, he only sent a woman his way after Adam was busy working and had a purpose and things of, to offer Eve. There cannot be a man destined to have nothing and then care for a woman. That man should stay single until he found his destiny place. That is so true. Tayo is saying, of what use is marriage if a man must carry all the weight of the relationship? <laughs> then leave alone now so that you know of what use is a marriage. So you want to marry just for somebody to carry weight for you, right? <laughs> you want to marry because you want somebody to carry your weight? <laughs> Or she has to marry you and continue carrying her own weight, right? Then why she have to? Why does she have to live her mother's her father's house? Why does she have to live a single life where she was always also carrying a load, and now come and carry your own load with her? <laughs> Other loves is some cultures carry. I have mean, uh, cultures place so much burden on women in the name of good wife. Yep. Shioma said, Pastor, you are just awesome. You have thoroughly researched this matter. <laughs> uh. 
that same tire he say it seems it appears that the benefit of marriage is only for the woman's benefit even getting sex from the woman is at a prerogative so it should be at your prerogative eh? when she's having menstruation when she's tired you should just go and be raping her right <laughs> Anyway, I think we had enough for today. <laughs> Davida said, the man should stay single, otherwise it takes another person into a crisis situation. Is the, high, is the height of irresponsibility. Yes, I agree. I agree. Nkiru says, ladies, while you wait and keep yourself holy, birds of the same feather flock together. You have to equip, educate, enhance your skills. Prepare yourself while you wait. Don't wait. Do your own, fulfill your calling, fulfill your destiny. Don't be waiting for anything. Be, be busy, rather. Be busy with your destiny. Gift Amos says, I always enjoy my Sunday services here on this platform what will i do without you my mentor i'm loaded again and delivered also i'm healed and i guess everyone also is and they, they, they delivered without laying on of hands fresh and um, fresh oil fresh fire in jesus name amen Daniel is saying, when you are overwhelmed with circumstances, remember this acronym, ACT, Adoration, Confession, Him as your source and Savior, Thanksgiving and Supplication, it is well. Scarlett West is saying, I think there is a reply to uh, to die or tire. Shouldn't a woman be greatly treasured even if she stays at home to take care of the children? Is that not enough responsibility? Keeping the home clean, is that not enough responsibility in marriage? Preparing meals, is that not enough responsibility in marriage for her husband and for her children when he comes back from home? Are those not enough responsibility in marriage? Martin said the problem is the restlessness of the women, especially when they are getting close to 30. It seems they t tend to forget about purpose. They just want marriage. I have seen it several times. Yeah, because they think, the culture makes them to think that marriage is everything. Not letting them know that no, everything is a calling and purpose. Shin Wei said most women had no idea of this principle. We were all guided by cultural expectation now the new generation should expose to this teaching to change their mindset let, so let us press the share button and share the message yomi awushola say thank you for your powerful speech may the lord continue to bless you thank you Formula your agape says, Pastor Sunday, I wish all men can learn from what you are saying because I have an insight spiritually that even if a woman is not working and being taken care of, that man will surely prosper. But that doesn't mean the woman wouldn't do anything but not strain us. Thank you, sir, for your teaching. God bless you. Okay, I uh, in uh, thank you so much, Pastor. I'm always blessed to come on every day to hear you. You are the best and blessed thing that's happened to me on Facebook. <laughs> thank you. M. Christine, thank you, Pastor. You are the best. Blessing to all of you. Moses Demitopo, thank you once more, dear mentor, Pastor Sunday Delaja. I was the one that asked that what do you have to say to pastors who felt working on in others for others means sign of unrighteousness, knowing that the congregation may not be able to give their family life the best support 
as it were, while instead of picking alongside a business with their clergy profession. And your response has been awesome, sir. What an indeed life imparting insights and awesome teaching, sir. More grace to me. Thank you. David has said you should go into marriage with the mindset of giving, not to get. That is so true. Margarita, thank you, Pastor Sunday. You are my inspiration in difficult times. Thank you. Augustus, the pastor, I wish to see you someday. Thank you. Michael Afolabi, thank you, Pastor. Every day I'm lifted on this platform. Thank you so much. Daniel says, let us teach about nutrition and food. It will save life as well. Think about this topic. Yep, I know. Thank you so very much, everyone. It's been nice uh, spending this time with you. Please uh, go ahead and share the link. Let's go ahead and share the link for this message and uh, spread the word. We'll be back together with you tonight with some testimonies. God bless. Bye.